Hi, and welcome to episode three in the series, Five Things That Advanced Players Have Mastered. If you haven't seen previous episodes, I've covered the Continental Grip, I've covered the second serve, and today's focus is on the variety of spins that advanced players use, and that can be an advanced club player all the way up to the tour. So if you want to improve your game, you need to understand how to use these spins. <laughs> or may not be familiar with the different types of spin in tennis, but there are three types of spin, top spin, side spin, and underspin. And those can be used in any combination, meaning that I could hit a pure top spin ground stroke, or I can hit top spin with a little bit of side spin on it. So the first one that we're gonna get into is top spin. And top spin is when you make the ball rotate over itself, just like this here. Let's take a look at a clip and I'll show you what I mean. All right, let's take a look at a full clip of the topspin forehand. Where we're gonna be focusing is prior to, right at, and directly after the point of contact. Now that you have a good idea of what that looks like, let's take a closer look. There are a few things that we wanna take note of as far as racket position when we are trying to produce topspin. The first is how far the racket starts below the tennis ball. The further down you can get the racket, the better your topspin will be. We also want to notice how the butt cap of the racket is headed towards the tennis ball. In this view, you'll be able to see just how far down the racket face is when it approaches the ball. It needs to be somewhat closed off. You can also see how the butt cap of the racket moves towards the ball. The low to high motion or the low to high contact is very important when you're trying to produce topspin. All right, so we've covered the top spin. We have two spins to go. Let's take a look at the underspin on the forehand side. This will be much of the same as far as we're gonna take a look at right before, during, and directly after the point of impact. Let's take a closer look. Anytime you're trying to impart underspin on a ball, it is important that you start with the racket above that ball. Another tip is to lead with the bottom edge of the racket meaning that the lower edge is slightly in front of the top edge. And lastly, is to focus on moving a straight line through the point of contact and the finish. So what I'm trying to not do here is trying to allow the racket to be rounded or move towards the left side of the fence. I wanna push directly through the ball. I wanna keep my strings towards the ball machine. These are some of the things that will help you hit a really good underspin ball. And that leaves us with just one spin, which is the side spin. Let's take a look at a side spin shot on the forehand side. We are still focused on the same areas right before, during, and right after. And as you can see how it's hit here, we'll take a closer look. When trying to impart side spin on the tennis ball, there are a few things that you need to do. You need to start up above the ball, just like the slice that we discussed. However, the two things that change, I'm gonna allow the point of contact to come a little bit further back. By bringing it further back, it allows me to get to the inside edge of the ball. Now, as I start to swing, I'm gonna get my strings on the part of the ball that is closest to me. By doing this, allows you to have side spin on the ball. All right, so there you have it, where your racket needs to be positioned to execute each one of these spins. If you are curious on the technique that goes into hitting each one of these shots, I have various videos on that and I'll attach it at the very end here. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and I'll see you for episode four.